much Dollar Tree read stuff around you. How'd you do that? You silly cat. <laughs> You're so silly. How did you get that wreath around you? Oh, man. Hey, everybody. Michelle Media here for another YouTube haul for you from Dollar Tree. This is Little Man. He's my tuxie kitty. He's the one you saw in the thumbnail in the video. It was so funny because I had just come home with my haul and, uh, <laughs> I just turned my head for not even a minute and he got into my, uh, wicker wreaths and started walking around with the wreath on his <laughs> around his belly and it was so funny so anyway he just walked around with it like that for like less than 20 seconds but I was able to quickly grab my camera and uh, catch him doing that he's so funny we love him okay I think he wants to go play so anyway we're here with a fabulous haul for you today and little man is here and so is his little brother here. Done one. Okay. So let's start off. Um, this is kind of a quick haul, but nevertheless, I've got 10 fabulous grouping, grouping of items here for you. And uh, let's see what we got, okay? First of all, some of you may have already hauled them. I don't know. I know that I've had some of these at my store already, but some I haven't. Nevertheless, I got a few extras of these stainless steel signs. Here's the corrugated little square. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And I believe this is probably, I'm thinking somewhere like a six by six. Really, really cute. I know there have been like little frames of them made with that with a little clip. Okay, and then we have the uh, solid truck that has got some uh, raised areas. Okay, and got some uh, price tags, and it comes with little jute string. See that? And uh, on all of these uh, stainless steel um, tin signs, you can uh, put magnets on them. Do you think stick to magnets or not? Do magnets stick to them? <coughs> okay. And here are the. Uh, jar mason jar and you can do stuff front back you know it doesn't matter they're both the same now here's the other truck with the outlined and edging with black so I think I believe I've hauled these before and one more the heart this is kind of like a shadow box type heart all kinds of beautiful things you can do with these so grab them while you can because when they do have them they go quick so that, and I have a new wonderful bunch group of items here. Okay, in the craft section, Crafters Square, I guess you would call it. This is by American Oak. This is some uh, maroon wine colored raffia. Isn't that beautiful? They had like greens, yellows, and all kinds of color, beautiful colors. So I grabbed a, a wine color and the uh, forest green, really dark. Okay, I got two of those. And something new that I found, some uh, rosettes. Look at that, how beautiful. They come with like a little nod nub in the back, a green one. And here is the uh, front part. You get two in that package of the bigger ones. Okay, and you get five of the small roses. These are more like uh, petals. The other ones were kind of like twisted petals. And here they are. And they come with like little wired picks. Okay. Those are new. So I know they've had floral like picks with them. Like larger ones that you can put in a vase. But not those. So that was kind of pretty to have in the store. Now two makeup items that I found that I'm so glad I found. Um. I wanted to try this out in the near future. This is by LA Colors, the small smoky eyeshadow kit. Has some pretty, pretty neutral smoky colors. I know smoky comes in different shades, but this has got like a very light neutral pink beige, smoky cut, three different smoky colors in a dark brown and gray color, charcoal. 
And also I found this new thing called Flesh by Revlon. It's a thick stick foundation shade. And this is like the lightest shade they had. They had like, I think two or three different shades. And so I wanted to try that out and see how that turns out. It's like a little kind of stumpy looking glue stick and it's supposed to be a foundation. So I'll try that out in the near future and make sure I let you guys know in my uh, upcoming hauls. Now, this next thing is fabulous. I love these. Now, one thing that I love about Dollar Tree are the thickness, the uh, sturdiness of, um, of the glassware that they have. Look at this, look how thick it is and they're heavy. I love this tumbler here. It's the uh, Starburst type and they've got it in three different uh, styles. Now I love this one. This has got like the rippled stem. So I got four of each. I love these, love these. And then the bottom, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but the bottom has like a rippled effect also on the bottom. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, and next I have for you guys a, uh, I really like this. Hello, Summer watermelon sign that is really cute I usually don't like stuff with glitter you know for obvious reasons but one thing I haven't heard anybody say is uh, you can get like a clear uh, spray or a clear uh, coat of something and brush it on to prevent the glitter from falling off so I plan on doing that you know it doesn't have to be rust-oleum just as long as it's something clear so that's what I plan on doing to that because I don't like stuff with loose litter, glitter, litter. <laughs> okay, and next thing I got was this um, ice tray. I got it in blue and I believe I got a white one also. Now it comes with a cover, okay? And you don't even have to take it off. You Flip up this little lid here, pour it through there, and it fills all the reservoirs. So I thought that was really neat. And I, I thought also you can probably use it to separate craft findings for jewelry, beads, put them in each, you know, little reservoir. I mean, you can do so much with this. It doesn't have to be used for ice. Okay. And here's the infamous, um, I called it uh, wicker wreath but they call it a wood blend wreath. I have three of the large ones and one of the small one. Here's the small one and here's the large one. I've got three of them and one of the small one. This is the one that little man got stuck around his belly. It was pretty loose, but it was just so funny to see. He was playing around in my uh, pile of Dollar Tree items while I was getting ready to do a haul and got this around his little body off. <laughs> it's just too funny. Oh my gosh. I love that little kitty. And guys, this next thing is I've been trying to find a coveted uh, wagon wheel, bicycle wheel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we haven't had any at our store. The only thing I was able to find at one of my locations is this peace sign, okay? And I figured, why not put two of them together since these the spokes don't come together in the center, you can put something in the center and make it into a wheel with two of them. So that's why I got two of them. So I'm gonna check that out and see how that works out for a craft item that I plan on doing a DIY. And hold on just a second. Got two more items for you guys. These cute, cute, I like these um, inspirational little um, frames here that I can find every now and then. Now this one is kind of like a tropical with a pink background and it says, impress yourself because I truly believe that is the only person you should ever have to impress is yourself and nobody else. Be confident in everything you do as long as you do it with respect. I got that one and last but not least in the frames you are powerful beautiful brilliant and brave the same it's a darker a bit of a darker pink background with the tropical leaves and trees around the edges so 
or you can hang those up or put them on a tabletop. Okay, and the last thing here is the, uh, well, the last things are the, uh, let's see, the Matchbox cars. I got a little station wagon, like a uh, Mercedes-Benz uh, station wagon. It looks like maybe from the 60s, possibly 70s. We used to have one in blue when I was a child, so I want to paint this blue to bring back the little memories I had of our wonderful little blue family station wagon. And then, here is a big truck I got for my uh, husband since he officially now has a big truck. And <laughs> not the big giant wheels, but nevertheless, he's got a big truck for the first time. We used to have a small one. And I'm gonna paint that the color of his truck. So I thought that was really cute for him to have for his little man cave. So guys, that is the haul for today. Now, the next haul I'm gonna do, I am going to a big location um, here in my hometown and uh, it's believed to be haunted. I've been there several times and it, it's kind of spooky. Stuff just seems to fall off the shelves when I pass by. I don't know if it is or isn't, but it's happened so many times to me. So more on that, you know, um, in the next haul, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough there also with a voiceover. So this was a quick haul, but I hope you enjoyed it comment down below subscribe and let me know any ideas you want me to cover items any of your diy suggestions or what you you know uh send me pictures of your uh diys i'd love to hear from you okay so i hope you enjoyed this haul and let's see my uh kitty isn't around but dj is so we want to say thank you for dropping by and i hope you stop by for our next haul in a couple of days okay bye youtube Thank you.